this is my baby. You know, I thought the restaurant was my baby now. The elderly meals are my baby now. Um, like you said, you know, last year it was our goodbye. It, that, that was our way to saying thank you, Fredericksburg, for having us, you know, for a year downtown. And because it was right at our first year anniversary that this happened. Yeah. And um, a year later, here we are, 18,000 plus meals that have been sent. And, you know, we're a big family, like I was telling you now. They're, you know, they're everybody's grandparents and, you know, the, the volunteers have become family as well. So we love them. There is no way we can get away from now. And it does, and, and you've, you've made some steps now to really cement what you're doing. Yes, we are, we already submitted all the paperwork to do our nonprofit. It's going to be the 504 project. And um, we're just waiting for the approval from the IRS. What's this? Is 504 have a significance? That is the country code from Honduras. So that's why. Okay, that makes sense. What? Yeah. Did, do you just think of, of you know you talk about a family and, and, and what you mean and, and i've heard so many stories of people that have been helped mm -hmm. by what you provide yeah well like i was telling you a few moments ago you know if the, our elders need something they know that they can call me they can send me a message they can call the restaurant they can call my personal phone and say can you bring me water i need water can get out of my house or i need to go pick up my medicine can you take me we done all of those things for them, you know, take them to doctor visits. Uh, we have, you know, have some tragic things happen as well, you know, and it becomes really close to your heart. So we, we are family. We've been through everything, you know, from birth to death since we started yeah. this. Well, and I guess by having the nonprofit, then pe people can donate to the nonprofit. Yes. And now those donations will be tax deductions for them. And that's something that I wanted to do for the longest time. Because, you know, we have had donations at the beginning of the pandemic. We got a lot of donations. And um, what I can provide now is a W-9 for them to use. Yeah. But now with the nonprofit, we will give them a receipt. And that will be the proof of their donation. Hmm. What a year it's been. Yes. What a year it, it, it's been. And, but this has been such one, one, one of the good things, just that I mean, you've united a, a, a bunch of restaurants that, that yes. help you, a bunch of people that help mm -hmm. you, and it really has been a unifying part yes. of this whole pandemic. It, it's been, you know, the community came together. I mean, it's been, when I started, it was just me. I did it by myself for a couple of months. Then uh, my neighbor, Adnan Hamidi, he offered, yeah. you know, we can set cupcakes. Then Anita, I was getting so tired. Then Anita said, I can take a day from you. Then Danilo, I can take another day from you so you guys can rest. And here we are, it's the four of us. It's the four of us and you know, the whole community with the volunteering, the churches have come together, they put them in their serve programs. So people can volunteer through their churches. Parents that the kids need, you know, volunteer hours for school mm -hmm. or they need their driving hours for their driver permit they come to us so it's been great we have helped more people than the initial people that we wanted to help you understand yeah at the beginning it was elders but now we're helping high schoolers now we're helping you know people that need, need to do community hours for whatever reason and, and it is great but you've just you, you have you've, you've pulled so many people together and it's just become so much more yeah. and I, I remember meeting the first time i met you you were loading cars out here mm -hmm. first couple weeks in and i had not even heard of this of this yeah. program and th this this is one of the things when you think back on the on the pandemic in the last year yeah. you think of one more taco yep it, it became you know i think one more taco became a like a beacon of light during the pandemic for a lot of people and they so hope they saw a way to get out of the house and do something for some other people that couldn't. So, yeah, I'm and very I, proud. You should be, and I, and I guess and I guess going forward, I guess you you have to like everyone else be hoping that we start coming out of this yes. and you start seeing more yeah, people we, come downtown and, mm -hmm. and come and get, come and get lunch or dinner here. Yes, please, we need you. You know, we need everybody. Um, sales have been 
you know, up and down, up and down, and it's understandable, but we're hoping with the nice weather, you know, people start getting out, people are getting their vaccines, and we need you. And, and, that's the, and sometimes people, I think, think that, well, this has been a year now, every, everybody's doing well, and I hear that from all businesses. Um, mm -hmm. we, can't, we can't let up. Yeah, it, nobody's doing really well. You know, we still need the help. Like us right now, my personal experience, I'm not making money. I'm just making enough to pay my employees, to pay for my rent, pay for everything that I have to pay, and that's it. But that's enough for me. You know, right now it's not about making money, it's about keeping my kids employed and about keeping, you know, my elders fed and keeping the name out there. You're doing a great thing. When people ask me some good things from the pandemic, I always say that I met you through the, pand <laughs> through the you. pandemic. Thank you. So again, if it, and, and you're, like you said, um, you need business, come on down here. Don't yes, forget about One More Taco. Don't forget about One More Taco and everybody else downtown. We all need you. Well, Marie, it's been a tough year. We've all been beaten up a little bit, but you're still smiling. Yes. <laughs> Still smiling. I guess you are. I can't see with the mask, yeah. but I think so. <laughs> you can see the eyes. The eyes yes. can smile. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I think things uh, are what you make out of them. You know, life is what you make off mm -hmm. of it. Uh, and to me, the pandemic was just a way to to help others. You know, and and it's been a great year. It's you know, emotionally. For my soul, it's been a great year, yeah. you know, helping all these people. And I want to continue doing it. But, and that's the thing, you want to continue. And I mean, it just shows your heart in all of this, that, that, that you could have just said, that's it, we're out of here, we gave it a shot. Mm -hmm. And it, it turned into helping the elders and it's just grown yeah. and, and now the nonprofit. Yeah, and of course, you know, we went beyond the elders. We, we started sending meals to the hospitals. Yeah and to the police departments and it, it was big but there was a point that we could not do anymore the hospital so we had to stop because obviously the elderly were our priority so we stayed there and here and there we sent something to the hospital but we cannot do it anymore the way we were doing at the beginning yeah. Well, Maria, thank you. We'll talk thank more. You. And uh, it's, it's been, it's been, it, yeah. I would like to say it's been a great year, but it's, it's been a tough year, but you're, you're still here and that's yeah. what's, that's it, what's it's great. It's been a tough year, but it's been a fulfilling year. Yeah. You know, it's, it's opened a lot of doors and hearts. So it's, it's, it's been good.